Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrass, and welcome back to Let's Play Toonstruck for the PC. In the last episode, we explored the bathroom. We tried to get this treasure chest, and it didn't work. And we also went over to the padded cell after playing a game of Simon with a security door. And while we were there, we were also able to put a clown to sleep, steal his nose, and also put the chloroform on the nose so that way he could fall asleep. We now have his pin and one of his balloons, and we can also play with some helium. And by playing with the helium, we sound like one of the henchmen of Count Nefarious. We'll have to remember that for later. For now, though, we have some things that we can do now. For instance, we can play with the Climatron. Now, by going up to the controls, You'll notice there is a socket with nothing in it. Looks like the lever's missing. If you take the pin and place it in here. I'm sure that crazy clown will hate seeing his toy put to a constructive use. You can use it as a makeshift lever. Also, let me turn my volume down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let us move the cursor, not the cursor, but the lever, to the cold setting. And by going up here and going back to the bathroom, you'll find that this something has changed. Because when we went into the bathroom, we flooded the sink. Looks like I turned the bathroom into a big ice rink. And by going to the Climatron and setting the air conditioner to a cold setting, this ice is now, th well, this water is now ice. I'm about to say, ice is already frozen. Water becomes ice. Ice is frozen. We've frozen the water in this room that we have flooded earlier. And I wonder, if we mess with the gator guards now. If I don't want to slip, I better be careful. This something be could fun. something could happen. For that one. And with that, we have polished off the two guards. Now we're standing in front of this door. And by going through this door, we are now on the third floor landing. Had we went up here the old-fashioned way, the gator guards would have caught us, and we would have had to restore our game. And that's no fun for anyone. But now we can go back down to the second floor at our leisure. And that will allow us to do something a little interesting. You may remember the gargoyle statues from an earlier video where we were in the dungeon, in the castle, playing around. Believe it or not, there is a horn on this gargoyle statue. And if you press it, 
you'll cause a horn to pop up in the other gargoyle. But if you go all the way to the gargoyle statue, you can't do anything. Ugly gargoyles, ugly horn. Ugly, isn't it? So if you play with this ugly horn and try to go to the right, the gargoyle will notice you and the horn will reset. There is a way to get through this now that we have dealt with the guards. We need to go to the third floor landing, go back to the bathroom, and then go down the air vent. I am, for some debugging. I am right clicking to make this a little bit faster. We go back into the Climatron room, we go through the dungeon, we click to the right here so we can go back to the first floor. Interestingly, this fishbowl's not frozen. Frozen in place. The aquarium is one big ice cube. And from here, you can go back to the second floor landing. And you can left click on the Gorgol statue. Hmm. The head looks like it can be pushed back. And right-clicking will let you know, hey, you can push this head back now. Double. Uh -huh. We now have a green crystal. green crystal. We will need that for later. Anyway. We need to do a thing regarding the fishbowl. Because if we can freeze it with the cold setting of the Climatron, we could probably make it burn up with the hot setting. Oh, what a heater. Is somebody cooking hot dogs or are my intestines starting to sizzle? And now that the ice, or the, well, the icy water of the fish tank is now boiling hot, the fish won't be able to get in there. Of course, it also means we can't stick our hand in there to get to the treasure chest. So we're going to have to set it back to normal. But we're going to have to be quick because the fish will eventually want to get back into its bowl. I'm going to keep the pin there just in case. Now from here, we need to exit, go back to the dungeon, hurry to the first floor, click on the treasure chest with the left mouse button before the fish gets back in. Sure the little guy won't mind if I take this. And the fish is now back in the bowl. We now have a treasure chest. And if you look at it, you'll find the key. We'll have to keep that in mind for later. For now, I want to go back to the Climatron and take the pin out of the socket because I'm going to need it later. And from here, we need to go back to a place. Before I go to the third floor, I want to go back to Night Hall. I didn't know you could do this. I should have done this earlier, but Good night. you can not only examine the night, but you can also nice gauntlets you have there, friend knight. Take a gauntlet. Thanks for giving me a hand. And it points when you have it. You ask the guy for a hand. Falls apart. And from the from here you can go to the armory. I believe you can go in here. Is this the room I'm thinking of? It is. 
we can do things here now. For instance, we can look at this hopping crate. Thankfully, we can take the pins out, or the nails rather, with the pin. Use them in the hopping crate, and you'll open it. It's Ray! Hello? Ray? All right, buddy. Step away from the frog. It's okay. I'm a friend of your brother's. My brother's? Did, did they send you to rescue me? Well, uh... Oh, yeah. I knew it. So, my new friend, what's our escape plan? Well, that plan is still kind of in the development stage. Just a few loose notes, really. All right. I don't have a plan. Oh, hey. Wait a second. Are you... The alien? I guess. Yeah, I overheard Nefarious talking about you. Yeah, and some kind of trans-dimensional warp device that he's created. Yeah, created. Warp device? He said the device can transport him to your world, and he's been conducting experiments in his headquarters on the fourth floor. My world. This could be my ticket home. I'm not leaving here without that device. Well, what about you? I'm afraid this isn't much of a rescue. Don't worry about me, new friend. Now that you've set me free, I can try to swim to shore and go for help. But you look for the warp device. Swim to shore? But that's impossible. Oh, Toadstool. Not if you're a frog. Before I go, take this. Yeah. I think it has something to do with the warp device, but I'm not sure why. One of Nefarious' henchmen dropped it. Thanks, Ray. Thank you for freeing me, friend. I'll never forget you. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, definitely good luck. And from here, we have not only freed Ray, but we have also gotten a red crystal. A red crystal. The Knight's Gauntlet. Might as well go ahead and look at the gauntlet, too, while we're at it. And now, it's time to do a thing. They, it very much would be. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the practice file on the save menu and see what happens if I left click this. Okay, so the game doesn't let you get captured in that way, which is alright. There is something we can do though. Now that we've opened the empty crate and freed Ray, we can get into it ourselves. Uh, guys, aren't we supposed to be guarding these supplies? We are guarding the supplies. I thought we were playing cards. We are playing cards. But, never mind. As I was saying, we can use the empty crate to get to the TNT that way, but we will have to be careful. Also, Lugnut here. We have his voice if we speak while under the influence of helium. Also, we get to know the names of the other two guys. The guy with the loudspeaker is Feedback, and the guy who needs the visor to see is Goggles. Not sure why he's called Lugnut. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in the empty crate here. And from here, we can click on to the right whenever the arrow is pointing right. These guys will see us as we do this. And if we move at the wrong time, we will get caught. I should probably save right here. Now, at first, Lugnut suspects you. Then it's Goggles.
and then it's feedback. So close. And let's go ahead and put this in our inventory, get out of here, and never be here again. And now, I'm going to save under the practice file just in case, so that way I never have to do that again. Yeah, if you get caught, you're going to get sent back to the cell. Snout will be conscious again, and he'll be wearing a air filter, and you won't be able to use a welcome mat on him. And more than likely, you'll have to re reset. You're more than likely have to restart your game. I don't know why I was trying to say reset there, but we now have a box of TNT. A box of TNT. Now I can really stick it to him. And if you left click it, you'll pull out a stick of dynamite. This is the only stick that you have. Now, let us go back to the second floor landing. Back to the first floor, and then into the kitchen. There's a robo There's a robo chef here. And I spoke over Drew Blank there. Sorry about that. Let me try that again. What a rust pile of junk. What a rust pile of junk. And there is a pile of turkeys. A bunch of dead birds. There was something that Misfortune said. A dead bird rises a flame. That is the second part of the prophecy of us leaving this place. That rusty pile of junk won't let me. We could try to take a take a dead bird, but the Robo Chef won't let me. The door to the stove. That rusty pile of junk won't let me. Of course we can't mess with that either. And of course, there is a dumb waiter. The button that sends a dumb waiter up. And I'm pretty sure the Robo Chef won't let us. That rusty pile of junk won't let me. So, we're going to need to stop it somehow. And we have a watering can full of water. So, we will use that on the Robo Chef. Oops, I've spilled water all over that poor rusty robot. And now it won't be able to move ever again. And we can now grab a turkey and put it in our inventory. A cooked turkey. Now, interestingly, there is Well, I thought there would be a, a place to send it. Maybe it's on the second floor. It's the, yes, it is. It's the rec room. Lots of interesting stuff in there. Too bad those gators are guarding it. If you looked carefully, there is a dumbwaiter on the left wall, which looks just like the dumbwaiter in the kitchen on the first floor. The chickens are taken up from here to the rec room on the second floor. So what we need to do is we need to open this day of the door now that we've rusted the robot. And we can click the up button whenever we need to. However, we also want to be able to get into the rec room, and as long as the gators are in there, we can't do anything. So, we're going to stick a TNT stick in the chicken. And, stuffing. and then we're going to put it in the fire embers. Make sure that it says fire embers there down at the bottom of the screen. 
Put in the dumb waiter. And Drew will push the button automatically. And now we have destroyed the rec room with a turkey stuffed with a TNT stick. We can go ahead and close the stove door if we need to, because let's face it, we're not going to need a stove anymore. A stove. And from here, we no longer need to use the dumb waiter. Can we? I've had it up, Turk. Okay, we don't have. We don't. We don't get another Turk if we do this. Glad I checked. And from here, the door to the rec room is blown wide open thanks to our efforts. And we can go on inside, though. It is going to look rather nasty when we get in there. And we can look around here. Looks like I've tabled their game. I think the eight ball sunk for this pool table. The pool table is a loss. Matthias's accomplices have become accessories. And the crocodiles, or the gators, have become a purse, a pair of boots, and a belt. They're definitely more appealing than they were, but I still don't want to touch them. And there's also a broken Rock'em Sock'em robot toy. I guess I win. I knock both their blocks off. I'm afraid they rocked their last rock and socked their last sock. We also blew up the TV, too. Shattered in the explosion. We could play with the dumb winner, but this there's... May be done, but, it sure can serve a mean turkey. but there's no reason to mess around with it. I've had enough fun with that. Also, this looks like you can interact with it, but you can't. There is a pool cue, though, and apparently it seems to have survived. Nice. Very durable pool cue. And we can use this pool cue. Well, that explains how we store the pool cube, at the very least. Anyway, we gotta have things that we can do on the third floor. Oh, and the horn moved back because we went towards the stairs. Anyway, we have the bathroom, which we which we're basically done with. We have a door. The door is locked. And we can unlock that with the key that we have. And we also have an upstairs area past here. But that will all have the wait until the next video. So, let's go ahead and save the practice file. And let's make a new save. L, P, 1, 8. Perfect. Join me next time where we explore more of the third floor of this castle. And see if we can somehow find a way out. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!